Tony Hawk, Redemption, and Aussies. Believe it or not, it's another edition of Oh My God, This Week Was For The Win. Good afternoon, and welcome back to another edition of Oh My God, This Week Was For The Win. I'm your host, Luke Brown. Thank you. I say thank you before they even start applauding. You might remember me from the new release of the show, The Collector's Edition Show, or as Gabe Newell's Dietitian. The secret is all Burger King all the time. Anyway, 2009 is slowly winding down, but that's not going to stop us from poking fun at all the stupid shit that happened this week. <clears throat> you may have heard about a little game called Tony Hawk Ride. It's the one that comes with the skateboard peripheral. There was even a video of a dog playing it on the internets. What you may not have heard is that the game blows chunks. <laughs> Despite the critical failings of the game, Tony Hawk remains upbeat about the dying franchise. When defending his game, the world's most famous skater had this to say. I think it's going to suck. Well, Tony, <laughs> wait, what? Did, did he really just say that his game was destined to suck from the very start? Yeah. Here to give his qualified opinion on just what this statement from the Tony Hawk camp means is our resident expert in all things Animal Chin, Coop. Coop, it appears as if the Tony Hawk video game franchise may have finally gleamed its last cube. What's the mood like down there at Z-Boys HQ? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now it appears uh, in an effort to pump up the volume, even Tony said his game belongs in Dogtown. Is there any way for this series to make a comeback? You really appear to be stoked, but it seems like this series has finally grinded to a halt. Any last words of advice for the knee pad wearing youth of America? Well, I guess that settles that. Pre-order gifts are all the rage these days. Seems developers can't even announce that they're making a game without divulging details on just what kind of goodies the kids will be getting for committing to said game months or sometimes up to a year in advance of the game's release. I'm all for it, except when those pre-order goodies happen to be lame character skins, stickers, posters, art cells, keychains, or early access demos. I mean, really. I've waited this long. I can wait another week, am I right? Guess not. This week, Rockstar revealed that they'll have a pre-order bonus for anybody who reserves Red Dead Redemption, and if it's anything like their GTA 4 Special Edition, we're in for a treat. We're going to reveal to you right now exclusively on Oh My God, This Week Was For The Win, just what the pre-order incentive is. Can I have the envelope, please? Ooh, Thank you very much. Spence. It's exciting, Ooh. isn't it? I mean, I'm so looking forward to this game. I, I love westerns, and just the idea of getting to go... Sorry. Compose myself? All right, let's open this bad boy open up. It. Ladies and gentlemen, your early ordering incentive for Red Dead Redemption is... a new outfit. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> I, I don't even want to do this anymore. I'm out of here. No. Dude. Put your pants back on. <laughs> Luke! <laughs> well, apparently, it's in my contract that I do three stories a week. Otherwise, I don't get paid. And if I don't get paid, I don't get drunk. So, let's just get this over with. Australia has banned Aliens vs. Predator. Developer Rebellion replied, We will not be releasing a sanitized or cut-down version for territories where adults are not considered by their governments to be able to make their own entertainment choices. Woo! Generic prison joke, Australia sucks. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.